I, I'm an activist before I um, got into um, Leinster House to be a uh, part of uh, Parliament. So I was going to open up saying that I was always outside the gates protesting, you know, when um, before I uh, obviously got in. For me, I wouldn't be here today without the encouragement of my uh, colleague, uh, Deputy Pringle, and John Campbell, who came to me in um, early February 2020 and said to me, look, you might you might make history, uh, you know, you're, you, you do good work on the ground. And I said, well, like, I'm, I'm just a traveller, like, who's going, to, who's going to want me in there because they see me as a, a troublemaker, as, as, as somebody who won't work uh, or meet people halfway. So with that, I was convinced that I, I'd go, if nothing else, I was up for the challenge. And again, you know, it was very difficult and many members of the traveller community, many members from other ethnic minority groups find it very difficult going in the national elections, local elections, because you're the other. You're just their traveller, their Muslim, you're them they use. And unfortunately, we haven't got there as a society to break that down just yet. So people say, how come more travellers won't go in the general elections? But my question is, who's going to vote for the travellers? You know, who's, who's going to vote for the, for, for the Muslim uh, man? Who's going to vote for the, for the black woman? And a lot of the time when we speak about gender equality and we see white um, middle class men uh, in these higher roles um, um, than, than men from, uh, like, we sometimes forget about the, the men, the Muslim men, the traveller men who don't get a, a foot in the door. And I think it's very important that we remind ourselves today as well, like, when we look for gender equality, who's the gender equality for? Is it what women is that equality for? For the women that's not around the tables. And for me, what, what always drove me was the passion in my belly to uh, gender equality. Because when you sometimes when you come from a um, minority group, you know, men can be here and women are underneath. And, so, and I've always kind of questioned my culture and outside of, uh, of, of, of my culture. So for me, what, what drives me is, is the others, is the days and the dems, because I'm one of them. And one of my questions when I was finishing up in uh, third level was I wanted to do the thesis and can, now this time I didn't even imagine myself being in, um, being in parliament, but I, like, my question was, can you be Taoiseach and live in a hot and site? You know, tipping off your uh, note earlier on. And I didn't have enough evidence or information to be able to back it up. But the fact and the reality of it is, is that, you know, sometimes when you're from an ethnic minority group, you have to hide your identity to get that job. And for some of us, it's much easier to hide our, our identities to get the job. But for me, being in there and being an openly and always talking about, I am a member of the traveller community. I don't have to back away from that. I am from Bally Farmer. And you can lump me or like me. Me, that's your choice, do you know what I mean? And it's the same for, for people from minority. And that just, that drives me, is kind of, our parliament is for all. And I have to say, like, I've worked along with uh, the Cam Collier in the last two years, and I know in, in our parliament that we do want change, but it's really about actions that, you know, we can put a lot of stuff on paper, but that is beginning to shift. And even one of the recommendations of the Taoiseach's uh, 11 to be people from ethnic minority groups, you know, it's like at the moment I'm writing a book and um, I'm looking for the title of it, and one of those names that I that crossed my mind was give us a chance you know now that won't be the name of it and that's all we want from ethnic minority groups we want the chance we want the equality of opportunity because this is our society too and we deserve to be there and we're just as smart and as clever as anybody else in the room so what drives me what drives me is them they and you the others in society so Thanks,